on. I didn't have the right chip in it before. Uh, Joe, Damien, this video is for you. Joe, hopefully you'll pick up on this uh, tomorrow, or I won't get to post it till later on tonight. Uh, a 49cc configurated engine, and I just wanted to tell you about my first experiences in Illinois. Uh, I won a few races there in the early 90s, and about 19, about 1994, just before uh, my one kid was born, uh, I got uh, an invitation when I was running for Childress uh, Racing to go to the Catter Mall. There was a mall there in Decatur. Uh, I cleaned up at Macon Speedway uh, twice, and I won it uh, at uh, Lincoln Speedway. And anyway, I had an invite to display the car because uh, they had built a new Staples, and uh, I was at the at the shopping mall where the Staples was, and I was the. Uh, they took the uh, front of the store apart a little bit to get the race car inside the store so I could be there for a couple of days, uh, which I didn't plan on. I just planned on overnight, but I didn't mind leaving the car and I was going to go enjoy myself because I was getting paid for. Back the car out of the box out in the parking lot and I'm revving it up and I'm, I'm setting the carbs and stuff because it was cold. It was actually pretty cool. It was, in, it was in early June, but it was really cold June morning and the car was acting up and I'm throttling this thing. and cop rolls up and rolls down the window and he goes what are you doing now, this is Illinois and I said to him I says well I got an invite I says there's the store over there the doors out I said but I said these cars don't like cold weather I says with the carburation and the fuel I says I have limited choke here I says I gotta wait till it warms up you can't drive this thing this cop laid into me about driving this car across this parking lot in the sidewalk to get it into the store and I said, you know, I'm here, and, and my staff tried to, at, at that time, I, I was limited. I had a couple of the guys with me. Um, it wasn't a good situation in Illinois. The cop was a total fucking banana, like most of them that we have today. So, Joe, sorry to tell you about my first experiences in Illinois were not pleasant. These are a little bit better. Uh, like I said, I got a stalker here on Facebook, thinks he knows something about me. Uh, I remember the social media video I, I made. Uh, that's why I keep to myself and nobody knows that much about me uh, other than the people that do know me and do business with me These are coming out of Taiwan now whether they're actually made in Taiwan I don't know but I modify these engines just like those uh, That's why they're all apart on the workbench uh, before you get one The machining on these is a lot better quality than you'll get on most of the other engines uh, and then you get our CNC stuff here. We take a lot of the stock stuff. That's why this is here uh, And that's why this is different uh, Casting and stuff like that because this is made elsewhere by us for me uh, Same as Fred does and stuff like that. So there's a group the China girl club uh, Joe so you and Damien know and I believe Damien's a part of it uh, These are these were called the China girl engine and, and to my knowledge they came about during the Korean era war uh, when I was on the aircraft carrier, I started playing with these things. We were actually got uh, a lot of write-ups and stuff running around the decks of the aircraft carrier. We used to get the, the cheapo kits, which they were decent quality for the day. The, the quality slipped when these kits first came out here, and I'll never buy another flying horse again. I see a lot of these guys, uh, they're grinding the top of the, the piston or whatever. You need about 5,000 clearance because those bearings aren't exactly an exact science that are in these engines. Uh, Matt Boozes, I always talk about Matt at MotorWorks because I get a little better stuff, uh, especially those uh, pistons uh, and the wrist pins and the bearings and stuff. Matt is get, has a supplier there too. I, I, like I said, I, I adore his gaskets and stuff like that at MotorWorks. Uh, a lot better stuff than you'll buy other places. Uh, same with Fred. Uh, you can get copper gaskets and stuff too th uh, from Fred and I believe through Matt too. I, I think I've gotten them in both sources and stuff. Uh, you really got to watch the clearance so you don't start hitting the top of the head with the piston because people think people think the less volumetrics you have between the head and the piston the more compression that's not necessarily the truth that's not the truth at all i've seen a couple of videos where the guys filed the heads down but you don't see the machine run after they've done that because they fucked it up uh, you need a you need about five to six thousandths of clearance in between the piston and the head itself and then that little bit of extra spacing makes for your compression. It makes for a decent compression. The more you take away from the top of the head, the less they work. And the other thing is us guys that are starting to fiddle with the rods and stuff, sometimes we're defeating the purpose of the engine. I've had a couple that it just didn't exactly work out the way I, you know, thought it would. Some of the engines almost stock just by, just by these different jugs and stuff that you'll get, the pistons and the rings and, and cutting the pistons. When you get stuff from us, 
I stick with something, I, as I described in my other video, uh, Joe, hopefully you saw the one the day before. The 49cc configurated engines, I think we're about as far into the science outside of, I was hoping that they would come out with a, uh, a timing, a spark advance. I'm working on my own, but the shop hours and, and the stuff that's involved in that, I don't know. I'm just hoping maybe the Chinese will come out with something a little bit, uh, maybe we can copy it or make it better like we're doing with some of this other stuff. Uh, I hate like hell tearing a brand new engine down. Uh, Steve Main, yeah, they're kit motors, Steve, but we got the secret sauce. Used to be a lot of uh, things. We changed out, uh, like I said, these engines that I'm getting, I don't have to do a lot of this anymore, but I used to go through a matched good set, a, a CDI and a uh, spark coil made all the difference in some of the engines from how launchy they ran to barely starting to really having some zap. Uh, this only goes out to about 600 650kz, probably about 22,000 volt. It, it, it's not a real juicy coil. Uh, the stock Chinese, the real crappy ones, they're barely pushing about 15,000 volt. Uh, however, I don't suggest holding on to it to test your spark. You, you really need a, a, an ammeter like we have, a pro meter. Uh, to actually measure the distance of the spark, uh, the, the length and the hotness of the spark. It's kind of a complicated formula. Uh, I use it, I don't even understand all of how it works, but I know when I'm up in the, uh, you know, above 15,000 volts, that's not quite enough juice to go through that CDI. And in a lot of the CDIs, they, they don't have enough magnesium inside that CDI. I don't even, matter of fact, that's a big gray area. There's a big gray gumball in there, in exactly how they're making that throw a spark. Uh, it's resistance uh, and capacitance inside this. And that's what does the resistance and the capacitance to pass the spark through. So, we do everything. This is a moped engine. Uh, it's been here. Anybody wants it for those kinetics, I do those. I do motorcycle engines. Steve Bain, I'm not dragging a 750cc engine in here for a jerk off like you. Uh, I'm having this stalker, this guy, he's on my brain because we're not this, we're not that. Fred and those guys will tell you, I buy their parts, people buy our stuff that we put together. Uh, I don't know who the hell you think you are. I got dozens and dozens of boxes of inventory, match CDIs and spark coils. I got pistons and air cleaners. Our pistons and our rings that you get and stuff from us. This is quality stuff. This is a GT5 piston. I don't know if you can see it. I should take it out of here. The GT5 is the short piston. The PK80 is a little bit taller, a little bit longer. And I was telling people the difference between the PK80 gets a lot more top end. And uh, the PK uh, or the GT5 is a little snappier on the bottom end. But all in all, these are a 49cc configurated engine. Uh, we're starting to fool with a little bit larger diameter piston and jug. We, uh, I just turned out something. I think it's going to work, uh, whether it's going to be feasible to market it. Uh, a lot of guys don't want to buy stuff. Uh, I don't know why. It's just not a good market. Fred's not selling a lot. A lot of us aren't selling it, but we have the stuff. Come spring, I get swamped. I ship all over the world versus other bike manufacturers and stuff, I have these manuals. I don't know, there's a couple more there somewhere. I think they fell down behind the box. We make a manual. It tells you about a 49cc configurated engine. It tells you about your wiring, your safety factors. Another thing that we use, that's why we don't tell you to tear our stuff apart because it's basically permanent until the heat, uh, until you actually have to take it apart and heat it up. You don't want to take one of our nice dressed painted engines and stuff and take it apart. We put it together with Loctite. We switch the hardware out to a case hardened hardware and stuff like that. Like that what's on that one there. Uh, we do a little bit. We go a little bit above and, and, and beyond and we give you a little bit of insight uh, to Loctite your bolts, your nuts. Uh, like your exhaust. Don't be a dummy and use a nylock uh, nut on an exhaust because yeah, I just called me about that not too long ago. And uh, Nylock nuts mean they're nylon. That's what locks them. Well, the nylon goes away and then without a lock washer or whatever, the thing will slide off. Half of them, the, 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 the nylon just goes away on them. So it's not a good aura. 
These are 49cc configuring things. Regardless of us fiddling them and fuddling them, as I call it, and what we do, like my engines, they don't come with those Mickey Mouse um, Phillips heads and stuff that's uh, screw out of there and stuff. This company's really that I'm getting this stuff from. I'm really, I'm really liking their product. Uh, you know, like I said, it's well built. I don't have loose gears. I know everything's nice and centered, and, and the machine work is a lot better. I have a lot less to do with these new engines that I'm getting. Um, I've been with them buying them about two, two and a half, three years now. It's a 49 cc configurated engine, but we tweak these engines, and you actually put out less emissions and you get more power. Um, the EPA seems to throw a monkey wrench in everything that we do with these engines. So, the federal pedal assist laws. This is still a 49 cc motor mounted on a, on a on a bicycle. It's nothing different than than a motorized bicycle. It's it is not a motor vehicle, and in Pennsylvania at least, you cannot get uh, insurance and stuff. It falls under your homeowners or your renters, and basically that's fire and theft. It's really not even a liability policy. These engines are speed rated to be about 20 miles an hour. I find out that these engines will go up to about 40 miles an hour. It depends on what type of bike you mount them on. Uh, bicycle doesn't necessarily have a speedometer. I have some. I have a vast inventory here. But I don't know how accurate the calibration is on this. I really don't know. But if the police are going to limit you to 20 miles an hour, out on the public where the police are available and readily there to harass or whatever, uh, to, to enforce their uh, agenda to make money, uh, do 20 miles an hour. I rip around the back trails, and I don't even say rip around. This is what I wanted to discuss. If I'm coming to a curve, I slow down. I don't know if there's going to be old people, maybe a family with toddlers on those trails. I encounter that quite a bit. So I don't go back there blasting through, and I don't even do it on the public streets. I see a lot of guys are making videos. They're going really quick. Let me tell you something, guys. You meet up with the wrong little old lady. She's looking the other direction because I had her pull out in front of me twice already. It's a heart attack. If you hit that little old lady or that bus or that garbage truck, you're going to be the sorriest person missing limbs. Uh, motorcycles and motorized bicycles, you treat the safety laws the same way. Um, I ride a lot without a helmet. Uh, I don't know why I do it, but I do it. I just don't like a helmet. I never did. I never tolerate them. Uh, even in a race car, I, I used to say, I used to get like a claustrophobic feeling. I had an open face, open shield and stuff, and one time I did have a fire. I'm lucky I still have a face. Uh, personal protective gear, wear it, use it. It's gear 30. I have a vast inventory. Like this, if you need a bike painted, I do custom work. And Steve Main, my name's on my tool cabinets, my car carriers, my stock cars. I do a lot of custom work. Uh, people respect it. It's nice. And I have a vast inventory of stuff. Okay. I carry this. A lot of people, they get these carburetors. They don't know how to set them. We bench test this stuff. This has been run. I know it works. And most of it is for my engines. But I have this stuff here. When people order it or they want it, I have it available for them. Steve May. So, yeah, we actually make things here. And we make nice engines. As you can see, this engine's a little bit bigger than that engine. The generations in these engines are changing. They're getting more advanced. Uh, the, the machining and the quality's getting a little bit better. Like I said, I used to buy the, uh, the, the uh, flying horse. I'm not so happy with it anymore. Uh, these have the 40 millimeter port, and I use the 40 millimeter, the, the custom intakes. These are made for the reed valves. These are made for more, more uh, fuel. Uh, but all in all, Joe, Damien, they're still a 49cc configurated engine. No matter what you want to do with them, uh, that's still 49cc configurated. It's just that when we go inside there and we open up and then we modify the piston, we modify the bore a little bit, uh, the more volumetrics, that's our tricks that we play. And like I said, those jugs, those other ones we're getting that are taller and bigger, uh, that's a GT5, but it, it has the special rod. It's actually the hybrid engine, and that's been crossing with Fred. Everybody's looking for the FM80 rods. Well, I get the FM80s. Those are the engines that have the FM80. 
and the piston's a GT5, but the rod actually, I, I believe, is almost, I don't know if it's, if, if they said it's like 26 millimeter. I, I, I really have to measure it myself. I just haven't had the time to do it. So I can get some of this stuff now. I can buy it. I don't have to go over to the machine shop and play with it and make a larger stroke engine or whatever. I can get the piston. I can get, I can order the engine with the rod that I want, and then I can get the jugs and order the jugs and make the jugs that I want and the pistons. I have them. There they are. They're in, I got boxes of the stuff. Heads, custom pistons. I have a lot of the better bearings and stuff. As I said, I get a lot of this stuff from Matt, and I get really quality uh, stuff from Matt. My pistons don't slop around. They don't walk around inside the bore. They don't slide around. He has some really nice stuff at, mo at MotorWorks. So if you're looking for a piston combination like, like these, these have the rings and the pistons, and, and, and the uh, they have the wrist pins and stuff with them. I don't have to worry about my stuff walking around when I get it from Matt. So... It's getting to the point with some of the stuff, I do buy it. It's cheaper to buy it. I, I can get it, and it works, and I, it cuts down on my shop time unless I'm building something really custom. I have the larger bikes that I do, and I have race stuff that I do. Like I said, Steve Main, I'm not walking a 750cc engine in here just so you can have a look at what I do. You know what? Stop fucking with me on Facebook. You got your invite, by the way. You want to stop off here, show me you're a man, and you got some... You tell, show me you got a pair outside of a pair of fucking lips. Stock, 32 millimeter, 40 millimeter. Another modified, 32 millimeter GT5. Big difference. But as you can see, the bottom end is still the same. It's just that that engine is bigger. And that engine's also heavier. That engine's almost that engine's almost a pound and a half heavier than the other one, the new that new motor that's sitting there. So, Joe, these these are made for bicycles, and kids can operate bicycles. The problem that the real problem that guys like me are encountering is there's people that are on disability. Uh, they see the kits on eBay. They think it's the stuff that I have. It's not even in my league, Steve Main. That stuff isn't even in my league. It's cheap Chinese shit. Most of the hardware is shit. Most of the other stuff that comes with it is shit. Even the chain. I use case hardened roller chain, chrome molly chain, Sibaki chain. That's a chrome molly chain. That's not that black uh, cheap tractor supply shit or the stuff that comes with the kits. That's a nice chrome molly. And I was getting this, uh, the flying horses, like I said, I really like the flying horse, but they really went to hell, the quality on them, and the machine work, they, they, they just, I won't buy another one. I like my supplier, for custom parts, Matt, Fred Klemensky at CR Machine, okay, those guys can explain more, Joe, if you and Damian need more in-depth about these engines to realize that they are street legal, okay, uh, you can't change a 49cc engine from what it is, okay? Maybe the bike, different machines. It's just like different motorcycles of different classes. They might one 750 bike might be might be 25 miles an hour faster than the other 750. This was originally an 800. <clears throat> I took the board out to 25 thousandths on this machine. This fucker hauls ass. You know what? This bike is as fast as I ever want to go on a motorcycle. Those guys that hook up NOS and do all that other crazy stuff. I've got jetted carbs. She smokes a little bit when she starts up because the carbs are, it, it, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of carburation. But after it warms up, it's just like the motorized bicycles. When you jet them like that and you're, you're running more fuel when they're cold, they're a real pooch. But you get that bike warmed up, they really rock. That's why I do wheelies and stuff through the yard. Carburation, volumetrics, your bore, that's all a science. And that's all that racers do is they, they work on that science. They, they work on it to perfect it. There was plenty of times on the speedway when my car wasn't as fast because I didn't have the right jetting for the weather that we were running. That was another learning, uh, an attritionary experience where you've got to play with the jetting and, and stuff. Whether one bicycle with a motor on it's faster than the other, I think the police ought to curb that. We have a lot of these corrupt monkeys here, especially here. I've got a complaint I filed with the Judicial Conduct Board uh, about a, a uh, magistrate, barrister. You can't go to these people 
and just be congenial. The law is not what it was. Like I said, I, I'm out in Decatur, Illinois, never been there before, never broke the law. I backed my race car out for a fucking display and I got a cop all over me. That is crazy. That is nuts. So, anyway, I got to call this number back then. But, Joe, that is the basis of my video is I can't predict even how fast my bikes. That's why I put my bikes will go anywhere between 25 and 40 mile an hour. And I've heard a couple of these guys like this engine is being made for a gentleman. Uh, his, his name is Julius. Uh, he's out in Utah. I don't sell that much out in Utah. He has another one of my bikes he got. Uh, said he bought it on Craigslist. The guy sold it to him. He says, fantastic. He says, I want another one of these motors. And I said, well, what did you do to the other one? He says, oh, no, no. He says, I'm building another bike. You must have one of those frames like I got is what he was describing with the gas tank in it and stuff. So basically what's going on with that, okay, is the motors do different things on different bikes. You can't predict the speed and you, you can't contain the speed and obey the speed limit. Will the bike succeed 20 miles an hour? Most of these engines and the modified engines will exceed 20 miles an hour. I, I don't, most of the bikes get, the, the stock engines, they get anywhere between 15 to 25 mile an hour. They're not bad for what they are, but they don't last. And you, it's just that as you get older with them, you want something a little more advanced and you want to get a, a tuned exhaust and you want to make the bike go a little bit faster. But how fast, ask yourself the question, do you really want to go on a bicycle? Okay. That's why I told you I drive within the mechanical limits of the bike. I don't try to make it go fast because if you blow a tire on a bicycle, you're going for a ride. You're going to hurt yourself. And a lot of times I ride in shorts even on my motorcycle. Uh, I'm just not out to do uh, beyond what the speed limits. You know, I, I just try to drive with common sense. But like I said, I'm having the problem with these people on disability or they're, they're drunks and they lost their driver's license and they want to use it as a car and they don't want to maintain it, they don't want to buy all these tools and wrenches and stuff like I have, uh, you're just defeating it. it, it it's a hobby. It, it was basically started out as a novelty, and yes, they have advanced these, the science, the bikes have grown up, uh, and the science has grown up around them to make them faster, to make them hardier, and it actually makes them safer. You can accelerate out of harm's way, had a lady open a car door right up. That same little old lady that everybody says is, well, look, was looking the other way, on uh, Facebook, uh, Steve Main, that old little old lady's on every road around here and every road around the country. She's there. You're going to encounter her and you're going to wreck your bike or if not hurt yourself. It was God's good grace I got away the day I did. He, she opened the door, but I, 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 I saw the door open a little bit and it looked like maybe she looked, but she was not expecting a bicycle maybe moving as fast as I was on a motorized bicycle. That little voice in my head, I gave it a little bit of distance and when she did open the door, I did miss her. The other bad news is a car behind me on the right hand side, I saw him in my mirror, he was almost unwilling to move over. So there's, there's ways to get killed. There's also, like I said, the drunks, the people on disability, they're not even supposed to operate a motor vehicle. Their licenses are suspended. I really don't know what law enforcement does with stuff like that. I mean, you're still on a bicycle. Not having a driver's license should not have anything to do with you operating a bicycle even with an engine on it. As far as I'm concerned, it's still a free country, it's still a bicycle. But those people are out there. They're alcoholics. They're drug addicts. Uh, speaking of alcohol, it's time for my swig. The science is getting better. The parts are getting better. And we're finding out what to do with these to make these a little bit better on the bike for better performance. They're coming out with reed valve intakes. I see a lot of you guys wanting to mount these uh, performance carburetors. On these stock intakes, especially the cast. I want to tell you what happens is these snap. I have pictures of it. I'll put it on Facebook. I have to find them. But I've had how many failures of guys, they want to buy an engine, they want a kit, and they want a performance carburetor. I sell them the carburetor, then the intake, you know, they're writing me a nasty letter. And I said, well, you told me you had an intake. You didn't want the performance intake for the carburetor. So I watch who I even sell to because of the alcoholics, the drunks, the people with the misnomer information. They're out there. They want to make it your fault. That's why I sell most of my carburetors. This is in there for parts. Uh, this is actually uh, for one of the bikes that I'm building. But when I sell these, they, they have the accelerator cable. They're set. 
like I said, I have a bench uh, out there, a vice where I put the engine in. I actually start it up, I run it. So I know this carburetor ran and it ran right when I when it left here. This actually goes in there, that's for that piston. That's a stock 32 millimeter. No, that's the 40. But these are the small 40. These are for the GT5 with the 40 millimeter. I gotta watch what I do with parts. A lot of this stuff has tags on it. Like that special piston had that tag on it. I gotta watch what I do. Even I make mistakes when I ship something. I, I, I accidentally put a, a GT5 piston in with a PK80 jug. That was a nightmare and the guy screamed at me. Yeah, I, I normally don't slip up, but there's times like that. There's a phone call, somebody needs me, somebody wants me, and that's the way it goes. So, Joe, uh, and Damien, good luck in court, and hopefully you can drill it through the cop's head that it's still a bicycle, it's a motorized bicycle. And if somebody tells you not to ride somewhere, don't be a jerk off and, 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 and have the cops called on you. This is a nice therapeutic hobby. I make a few bucks in the spring. Uh, like now, guys are ha one guy's having a bike built here with me. Another guy ordered an engine. Uh, that's fine. And I, those are the smart people because then they have it for spring and they have it all together. And then if they have a problem, they can call me. But it just I get those first fleeting warm days. And then I got 20 bikes lined up out here. I don't know which one to go after first. So this hobby is catching on. It's all across the country. It's, there's more guys down south, Joe. Damien, uh, you ought to know that. Guys in Florida, California, uh, even Texas uh, wasn't as up on these bikes as Louisiana has a couple of them. A lot of people saw me on my bike in Louisiana and they freaked out. Uh, they are down there, but not the, not the advanced bikes. The advanced bikes are in Florida, California, the, the, the bigger metropolitan areas have these more advanced bikes. The other places seem to have these kit bikes and they don't have the best reputation. So the people that want the better stuff, they come to the vendors like us who have that better stuff. And that's what I wanted to tell you, Joe. Uh, not every motorized bicycle is the same, but they're still 49cc. It's just depending on who you're buying it from and what they're using it for. So in that, I'm going to return my phone call. And uh, all you uh, mentally ill people out there, Steve May, lay off me. You got your invite, pal. You want to show me you got a pair? Show up here. We'll square it away. And sorry to have that in my video with you, Joe. You're a lawyer, but you heard the invite. I, I just don't like these people on Facebook. I don't know how these people can be on Facebook day after day after day. They're on there, it seems like, 24 hours. I don't know how people can do that, telling everybody all their problems or every little uh, mental twitch or whatever. I use the social media on Facebook to promote my product, to promote who I am. Uh, Steve Main, like you, mistook me for my uh, cousin and all that other... And I tell you something, I'm a little sick of Facebook, but there are nice people on there. Fred and I are on there. Uh, there's a lot of people. Cliffy Sores, I, I wished a lot of the guys uh, a Merry Christmas and stuff. I see Matt doesn't use Facebook because of these guys like Steve Main. As I understood it, a couple of people have had a problem with you, Steve. I'm going to report you. I don't know how yet because I really don't know how to go through Facebook. I don't fuck with it that much. And after we're done with this and me humiliating you, you're a real idiot. A total idiot. That's why I don't put a whole lot out on me. I had a whole segment. Because people think you're somebody else. Somebody you're not. And somebody like you is going to try to jam me with your information. You know what, pal? I know who you are and I know where you live already. So, in saying that, hey, Joe, you're a lawyer. I got a problem with a stalker. But anyway, have a nice afternoon. Or whatever whenever after you watch my video hopefully you'll go to take this stuff to heart that the science on these bikes is advancing but they're not for everybody and especially if you've got a suspended driver's license and a large alcohol appetite uh motorcycles and motorized bicycles are not the thing to be climbing on maybe that's why the cops if you have a dui and don't have a license maybe that's why they grab a hold of you because it's another tragedy in the making i do agree with that i drink my beer like this after shop hours and you don't see my car keys laying here or anything. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything like that. Uh, I value my driver's license. I've had it for how many years? No criminal history, no no tickets, no suspensions. Uh, uh, really, I have a, I have a pristine uh, history. So any, anyway, in saying that, uh, Steve Main, uh, 
You guys have a nice afternoon. The science is evolving, and if you need anything, Harley B's out there. We, we have what you need. We have jetted carbs. We got all the performance parts, all the better stuff. And uh, Fred at CR Machine, Matt at Motor Works, they have stuff too. So don't discount those guys. Um, their websites are a lot bigger. I use the Facebook, social media. You know, a lot of guys see my bikes. They ping my bikes. You know, they, they want to ask. And that's what it's used for. I, I'm, not, I'm not a big business. This is just a side business. Steve Main. Anyway, social media hour is over. Joe, hopefully you and Damien, when you go to court, hopefully it works out okay.